Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today is July 9th, and we're on page 27 in your magazines. I don't know about you. When I see nine and 27, I think, oh, nine is a multiple of 27. Do you think of that? I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why I've got math in my head because I'm not really a math kind of person. Nine, twenty-seven. Nine times three is twenty-seven. At least I made that yeah. connection right away. Yeah, I'm, title, not, I'm uh, definitely not a math person. <laughs> even so, I guess it was low level enough that it hit me. Okay. So today we have a guided composition exercise for you, and our title is "The Secret to Being Popular." Chinese 标题是受欢迎的特质 Now I kind of like the Chinese better than the English because 受欢迎 of course, we hope. Always to show be show 欢迎 when we go into a group of people, but being popular for me has other associations different from 受欢迎 How about you? What do you think? Yeah, well, I have different feelings about being popular too. Yeah, this 受欢迎有的时候你会如果你只是为了受欢迎而做一些事情的话，通常那个就不见得是好事情 Because it often is not sincere. Yeah, ah,、uh, because you just want to be popular. Ah,、uh, 那而且呃。Uh, Things that are popular are not necessarily good things. Right? Yeah, this is the biggest problem. Ah, popular things are not necessarily good things. Ah, some people, 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 ah, some 哦，原来这个事情有这个内幕，但其实不见得是那样子，而且他可能会哗众取宠，他可能会断章取义。Exactly, yeah, because they know how to manipulate this weakness of our human nature. We love listening to outrageous gossip. 嗯，我们都喜欢听那种这个很夸张、很夸张的那种这个谣言啊、流言啊，或者是所谓的内幕消息啊，惊爆内幕，大家马上眼睛就睁大了，耳朵就竖起来了。Because our brains release a drug, and that makes us feel really excited, and that feels really good. It makes our days more interesting. But sometimes, in order to get that rush, that feeling, we disregard facts. 嗯哼，啊，那因为我们大脑其实你我们听到某些人会每次东西会觉得很兴奋，那都是大脑里面某一些化学这个元素在作祟哈、啊。那你这样为了这样子。得到那种感觉啊，所以你就喜欢特别听某些东西。那其实那只是一些生理反应而已。Right, and I have another point to make on this, and that is be careful how you set your goals, because the goal you set will determine what compromises you're willing to make. Now, for example, if you want to get good grades, no matter what, your most important goal is to get good grades. What might you do in order to get good grades? Ah,、oh, you might cheat. You might cheat. Yeah, because might... if all you want is good grades, it doesn't matter how you get them. You might cheat. What happens if you just want to be rich? No matter how you get rich, you just want to be rich. What might happen? You probably will do something illegal. That's right.、Mm-hmm. You're going to steal. You're going to lie. You're going to cheat. You're not going to keep promises.、Mm-hmm. If that is your goal, if that's your highest goal, it doesn't matter how you get it. You're going to make compromises. So always keep this in mind. Be careful how you set your goals. Your goal will determine what compromises you are willing to make. So, if you just want to pass the test, no matter what, you may actually be doing some really harmful things. If your goal, on the other hand, for example, is to learn good English, no matter what, well, then maybe you'll bother people to tra-、uh, to、uh, practice English with you, for example,、mm-hmm. which isn't always nice. But your goal, at least, is a pretty Laudable goal, a pretty noble goal. That means I just want to learn English well. It's not that I just want good grades. It's not that I just want money. I want to improve myself. 嗯啊，所以你如果设定目标的时候设错了目标啊，然后而且又为了追求那个目标，你愿意付出很多很多各种的代价的话，那这样子这个目标可能会带给你一些很负面的影响啊。所以，例如说你的目标，它其实呃不是那么。值得追求的目标，结果你选的这个当目标，然后你在过程当中，你可能就会 compromise， 你会有做了很多很多很多的妥协，好，为了达到目的不择手段，那这当然是不好的。Right. Yeah. right. Mm-hmm. So why are we talking about this? Because popularity is another one of those things, like getting good grades for the sake of getting good grades, like being rich for the sake of just having a lot of money, being popular for the sake of being popular. You may be willing to a to do a lot of really not nice things. Just in order to be popular, so somebody who wants to be popular, they may know how to put on a show of being really polite and charming, but underneath, 
they may be saying bad things about people behind their back. Because if I harm them, that makes me, relatively speaking, more popular. 啊，所以一个想要从这个以受欢迎为目标的人啊，他可能会有时候会有些虚伪的举动，他可能会这个表在别人面前。做一些很虚伪的举动，或者做一些这个言不由说一说说一些有言不由衷的话等等的哈，所以这个 being popular 其实不是一个很好的目标了啊。就像我们刚刚讲，你为了要达到受欢迎，你可能会是一个虚假的人啊。而且受欢迎，什么叫受欢迎啊？欢迎能够持续多久啊？它有多大的意义？这都是可以去值得思考的。好，那还有一个文法上值得思考的，就是各位注意到<笑> the secret。To 后面是 being，、right. 因为这个 to 是介系词啊，它不是不定词，所以后面要加动词的话，要加 ing。一个动名词、yep. ，exactly、mm。-hmm. Okay， so with this in mind， okay， that being popular is not necessarily the really kind of most noble thing you can aspire to. Let's talk about today's article, and we'll see that in this article we're talk talking about a more、um, A nicer kind of being popular, not just being popular in that everybody、uh, everybody worships you because you have nice clothes, but actually being a nice person. 嗯哼，好，所以呢，今天我们这个文章讲的这个，其实受欢迎呢，没有到我们讲的那种很夸张的、无所不用其极的，或者是很虚荣的那种受欢迎啊，而是一个真正比较受欢迎的特质。好，所以我们看看我们提示部分，他说一个人的行为特质会大大影响他的人际关系。举例来说，像是做事认真。啊，乐于助人，这些行为特质可以让自己更有魅力啊，甚至于让人缘变得更好。所以，请你以此为主题写一篇文章，至少是一百二十个单词的英文作文啊。第一段说明一下，你认为什么样的行为特质会受人欢迎？那第二段以个人或亲友的例子来支持一下你的看法。In order to develop our arguments, let's use two W's and the one H in English, namely what, why, and how. Now, what is the thing we're talking about? We'll ask with what. What do you think is the most important trait of popular people? 好，你认为这个受欢迎的人，他最重要的一个特质是什么 ？Trait 就是一个特质啊，就是这个呃，你的人格上面，你的 personal nature， 你的个人的个性上面有什么样的一些特别的 feature 啊，特别的特性啊 ，a distinguishing feature 啊，就是一个特质，一个 trait. So the first W word was what. The second one is why. Why do you think it is important? 那你为什么认为这个 trait 很重要呢 ？And finally, how are you going to achieve this goal? Come up with an example to illustrate why this trait appeals to you and how it makes you feel. 所以 come up with 就是想出来一个啊，我们常常想到 come up with a solution 啊，或者 come up with 啊、uh, something that you need 啊。那所以，请你想一个 example 来 illustrate illustrate 就是 clarify by giving an example of something 啊，就是以举例说明啊，就用这个 example 来举例说明为什么这个 trait 这个特色 appeals to you 就是 be attractive 啊、uh, be attractive to you 啊，你为什么觉得这个？特色不错，而且呢 ，how 他谈一下 how it makes you feel， 它这个特色让你有什么感觉 ？And remember that examples are often much much more powerful than a lot of description. 嗯，那要注意啊，这个例子比这个描写还常常是这个力量强非常多啊，更有力，举例更有力啊。你在描写了半天，不如举个例子。Right. So here is our outline. 好，大纲部分第一段说明一下，你认为什么样的行为特质会受人欢迎？那我认为受欢迎的秘诀是常常微笑，时常微笑。那首先，当你微笑的时候呢，你向人们传递你很友善的这样的一个讯息。其次，笑容会产生一种令人舒适的好感啊，让他人愿意跟你互动。那第二段我可以谈一下以个人或亲友的例子来支持你的看法啊，所以你可以举自己的朋友啊，例如说这也说。每当我遇到我的朋友汉娜的时候呢，她都满脸微笑。那这让她看起来呢，既友善又随和，也让他人更想跟她接近啊。那最近我试着时常微笑，而这也让我在朋友之中更受欢迎了。Here's the English version for our first paragraph. If you want to be more popular, there's a simple thing you can do. You can smile more often. 啊，如果你想要更受欢迎的话，有一个简单的事情你可以做啊。什么事情呢？用一个这个呃 dash 啊。你可以 smile more often. 你可以更常微笑 A first, when you smile, you can show that you are friendly. 啊，首先你笑的时候呢，你就可以显示显示什么呢？一个子句 that you are friendly. 啊，你可以显示你很友善 I can add that a lot of people look better when they smile. 
When yeah. they're not smiling, they look kind of old. Yeah. And not or, so pretty or not so attractive. Yeah, or serious. Yeah. I can accept being serious, but you're just not as pretty when you're not okay. smiling. <laughs> not okay, as attractive. Personally. Yeah, 很多人 yeah, 很多人笑有有笑跟没笑差很多啊，笑起来就会让人家觉得很亲切啊，这个很很很迷人。那不笑的话，那个脸啊，看起来就感觉很有距离感。Yeah. 没那么漂亮，没那么漂亮。<laughs> <Yeah> . Okay,、mm-hmm. and also you let people know you're friendly. B second, a smile can create a nice feeling that makes others comfortable, and that one's really important because I was thinking that this morning, the people I was running into in the、mm-hmm. MRT station.、Mm-hmm. You know, if you kind of get close to somebody and you get out of their way, you kind of smile at them. I noticed you; it's fine.、Mm-hmm. You realize that our body keeps score. Everything、mm-hmm. that happens during the day, things that kind of attack us or make us feel bad, they、mm-hmm. all accumulate. But things that make us feel good, like we had something good to eat, or、mm-hmm. somebody said something nice to us, we had a good conversation、mm-hmm. with them. They also accumulate.、Mm-hmm. We have to make sure that the nice feelings. Add up to more than the things that are making you feel bad.、Mm-hmm. So if you smile at somebody, you added to their savings account of nice things.、Mm-hmm. That means maybe that day they will feel less bad. Hmm. 好，所以科长说，我们的身，我们的那个人呢，啊，这个人体或者我们的心理呢，会有一个积分板啊。那每天你碰到坏的事情呢，它都会累积的。哈，那。By the 那这个到了这个 at the end of the day， 你可能就如果坏的事情太多的话，累积太多，你心情就会不好，你就有负能量太多。你的结余怎么样 yeah, ？Yeah， 你的这个呃结余啊，这个负的更更多，那就不好。<笑>那正的事情、好的事情也是可以慢慢的累积啊。那我们都希望每一个人在一天结束的时候，发现他的正能量比负能量多嘛啊。所以你对别人笑，其实也是分享你的正能量给别人，所以这是好事。This happened to me recently because I had an unfortunate experience with something that made、mm-hmm. me feel really bad,、mm-hmm. and I sort of had an obligation to feel bad every day because it would just <laughs> it just made me feel bad.、Mm-hmm. But then on the next day, two really good things happened that、mm-hmm. you know showed that people really supported me and felt、mm-hmm. really positive.、Mm-hmm. And so my body was saying, "Don't you feel happy?" I thought, "Well, I'm not done feeling bad about this old one. I got never mind. I feel good now." Yeah, so you、mm-hmm. can feel the two. Sides fighting against each other.、Mm-hmm. You think I should still feel bad about this? Yeah, but you got all this positive stuff,、mm-hmm. and your body slowly will zheng he. They will integrate what's happening,、mm-hmm. and so if you've gotten more positive things coming in, you'll probably win that one. Okay. Hmm. 好，所以 Karen 老师有有个人的经验啊，在最近碰到一些很烦心的事情啊，心情一直不是很好。可是呢，哎，第二天就碰到呃，这个有人给他正面的回馈，有人支持他，有人鼓励他，哎，那他就觉得哎，这个正能量就来了。但是负能量还不放弃，哈，负能量还跟跟他讲说不对啊，你要觉得很难过啊，你应该觉得非常的沮丧啊，哎啊，可是最后呢，你身体这个正能量、负能量，他们自己会这个算出来结余是什么啊？那可能最后结余就啊，你应该觉得高兴一点，那就很好了。Yeah, okay.、嗯、so always keep that in mind. Make sure that you're putting out a lot of positive energy, and then it's likely to come back to you.、Mm-hmm. Okay, here's B. Second, a smile can create a nice feeling that makes others comfortable, and that's what we were just talking about. Yeah, ah,、uh, 一个微笑呢，可以这个制造产生一种也好的感觉啊、uh, ，a nice feeling. 那这种 nice feeling 可以 makes others comfortable， 会让其他人觉得很舒适啊。Uh, 那 makes 它的受词是 others， 那 comfortable 是受词补语啊， uh, 就指这些人 others 会觉得 comfortable. Because sometimes people feel like they're just worthless. Nobody wants them. They're worthless.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. One smile could change that. They go, "Oh my gosh, here's somebody who thinks I'm okay."、Yeah. I've heard people tell me stories like this. Yeah, 有时候很多人觉得自己一一点用都没有哈，什么事情都不顺。这时候有人对他微笑的话，他会觉得哦，至少有一个人觉得我还不错，他还愿意跟我微笑。那这个会 makes a big difference. Absolutely.、Mm-hmm. See, it even encourages other people to smile at and interact with you. 那你微笑，甚至于会。鼓励其他的人来跟你 smile at， 就介系词要用 at， 所以要写 smile at。那 interact 介系词是 with， 所以这两个 at 跟 with 都不能掉，所以 smile at and interact with you。Paragraph two: A friend named Hannah has shown me the true power of a smile. 好 ，a friend not named Hannah 啊，就是她的名字是 Hannah。那她怎么样呢 ？Has shown me 她。展示给我，显示给我看 ，the true power of a smile 啊，一个微笑真正的力量。Now, why is this important to say a friend named? Because if you just say Hannah, we're going to think who's Hannah. 嗯，呀，你如果直接说 Hannah， 我读者那谁谁谁是 Hannah？ 所以你先介绍一下，从这个 A 啊，一个不定冠词开始介绍新的讯息。A friend， 好，有一个朋友，然后再告诉人家他的名字是 Hannah。
I noticed this because we had oral book reports recently in one of my classes, and a lot of the students were talking about things that they hadn't explained earlier. So it was very hard to understand. Even mail send p u t e n people are not going to be able to follow. Yeah. All right. Letter A. Every time I run into Hannah, she is wearing a smile on her face. 每一次我遇见她啊、uh, ，run into 就是 meet 啊，或者 come across。每一次我遇见她呢 ，she is wearing a smile 啊，的脸上都带着微笑啊 ，on her face。中文用带着微笑，英文是用 wear 这个动词。Yeah, so they're very similar.、Mm-hmm. B, we don't use, we don't say 穿着 in Chinese. <laughs>、mm, no, no. <laughs> 穿着微笑。No. All right, B. Her warm smile announces to everyone around her that she is an easygoing person. Therefore, people are more likely to talk to her. 啊，那她的。温暖的微笑 announces 就是宣布啊，对谁宣布呢 ？To everyone around her， 她身对身边的人宣布，宣布什么呢 ？That 所以 announce to someone that 宣布的是内容是 she is an easygoing person 啊 ，easygoing 就是随和，她很随和的一个人。然后呢 ，therefore 因此，那注意 therefore 它是个副词，所以前面要用分号跟前一个句子连接，然后 therefore 后面要一个逗号啊，所以呢 ，people are more likely。更可能会 talk to her， 跟她讲话。See, recently I have tried to smile more often, like Hannah, and this has also made me more popular. 那最近呢，我也试着要多多笑一点，叫做 smile more often 啊，就好像 Hannah 一样，那就让我也变得比较受欢迎了。Our conclusion, thanks, Hannah. 那这结论，谢啦啊，这个 Hannah. All right, we have two compositions to look at. We've already covered most of the first one. We're going to go through it a bit quickly. Here's the first one. If you want to be more popular, there's a simple thing you can do. You can smile more often. There are several reasons why you should do this if you wish to have more friends. First, when you smile, you send a message to people that you are friendly. This invites others to talk to you. Second, a grin creates a nice feeling that makes others comfortable. It even encourages them to smile at and interact with you. My friend Hannah has shown me the true power of a smile. Every time I run into her, she has a beaming face. Hannah's grin announces to everyone she meets that she is a nice and easygoing person to hang out with. Therefore, people are more likely to talk to her and to want to get to know her. This is why she is one of the most popular students at my school. Recently, I have tried to smile more often, and this has also made me more popular among my friends. Thanks, Hannah. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning. I think we've covered a lot. So, how about if Wesley just picks out some main points? Okay, 好，所以这个文章的第一句我们已经看过了哈。那第二句呢？啊 ，There are several reasons why 如何如何哈。所以这很常用的一个 chunk， 大家把它记起来哈。所以有有几个理由是 why you should do this 啊，你应该要做这些事情啊。如果你要更好的朋友的话，更多朋友的话，你应该做这件事情。那有几个理由啊 ？There are several reasons,、uh, several reasons why 如何如何。然后呢 ，first， 首先呢，当你笑的时候 ，you send a message， 你就。传达了一个讯息 to people 啊，给人们传达一个讯息。讯息内容是 that you are friendly 啊，那这个呢就会 invites others to talk to you. You invite someone to do something 啊，你邀请他们来跟你讲话啊，就是让你他们会想要跟你讲话。那 second a grin grin 就是一个呃嘴角上扬的那种微笑啊，所以一个微笑呢，它可以产生一个很好的感觉啊。当底下。我们这句子都看过了。那看第二段，第二段呢有几个地方可以注意到啊？就例如说，这个你是个 easy going person to hang out with， 就是 spend time with 啊。对 ，hang out with 这可以注意一下。啊、And it's very colloquial. It's very colloquial. 非常口语啊。那在这个上面还有一个 ，she has 每次我看到她 ，she has a beaming face 啊。beaming 在这里呢就是这个笑得很灿烂那种感觉，光芒四射，啊、光芒四射。好，那非常灿烂的微笑，叫做 she has a beaming。Face. 好，那其他的句子呢？我们大部分都看过了哈。那当然，他还有一句说 ，This is why she's one of the most popular students at my school. 好，那其他的句子我们大概都看过了。The only thing I'm uncomfortable with is trying to be popular for the sake of being popular. That kind of bothers me. But that's our subject. We have to just accept that. Here is our second model composition, which is a little bit more advanced. Certain people are popular for a reason. More specifically, they have particular traits that make others like them. To my mind, the most important of these characteristics is that these people often wear a friendly smile, which makes them more approachable and likable. This usually helps break the ice and invites people to lower their defenses and engage in conversation. Moreover, a sunny look can be contagious, creating an infectious and happy mood that spreads positivity. Whenever I think of the positive power of a grin, a classmate of mine by the name of Hannah always comes to mind. 
Hannah lives in my neighborhood, and each time I encounter her on the street or at school, she greets me with a lovely smile on her face. Often, especially in the morning, I am not eager to talk to other people, but there is something about Hannah's grinning expression that prompts me to strike up a conversation with her. It's little wonder that she is one of the most popular students in the entire school. Furthermore, knowing her has even inspired me to wear a smile more often on my face, which has also increased my popularity. Now, I really like the first paragraph. You can see that the author actually believes what they are writing. 嗯，好，所以你可以看出来，这个作者他对于他所写的东西，他是有信念的。他觉得，嗯，我我我知道 ，I know what I'm writing， 而且他相信他写的东西。Okay, should we pick out some highlights? 啊、oh, ，OK， 所以他一开始呢，说某些人呢 are popular 啊 ，for a reason 啊，但中文就是是有理由的。有些人他受欢迎是有理由的啊。那 more specifically 啊，讲的更明确一点呢，他们有一些 particular traits 啊，一些特别的特性 that makes others like them。那 to my mind， 对我来讲呢，那最重要的这些特的这些特色 characteristics 里面最重要的就是怎么样 ？People 啊，这个 often wear a friendly smile 啊，要常常这个保持友善的微笑。那 which 就是这样的一个事实，有了一个微笑，友善的微笑呢，就 makes them more approachable， 就是比较容易亲近。Likable 是讨人喜欢。那这样的这样的一个做法 ，usually helps。Break the ice, 哈，帮忙打破一个冷场，打破僵局，哈。然后呢 ，invites people to 接下面这个片语也很棒，哈。Lower their defenses. I really like that one too. Yeah, 就是卸下他们的心防，哈，就是放下他们的防卫机制，啊。然后呢 ，engage in conversation， 啊，就加入你的谈话，啊。就换句话说，他们就会卸下心防，愿意跟你聊天，啊。然后下面一句他说 ，a sunny look， 就是一个阳光的表情。啊，注意那 look， 它是单数的哈。那、啊、可以是 contagious， 就是有感染力的啊，所以它是可以有感染力的。它会 creating， 它会创造一个 infectious， 那也是有感染力的意思，会传染的。还有一个 happy， 一个很快乐的 mood， 一种一种情绪。Whenever I think of the positive power of a grin, a classmate of mine by the name of Hannah always comes to mind. 那这个 whenever I think of 什么什么什么，然后呢，你可以这样学这个 chunk 哈。Whenever I think of a 然后呢？逗点 B always comes to mind. 我想到 A 的时候呢，总是会想到 B. Hannah lives in my neighborhood, and each time I encounter her on the street or at school, she greets me with a lovely smile on her face. Ah,、uh, greets me with a lovely smile on her face. Ah,、uh, 就是她用脸上的一个很可爱的微笑来跟我打招呼 Often, especially in the morning, I am not eager to talk to other people, but there is something about Hannah's grinning expression that prompts me to strike up a conversation with her. 啊、哦，早上通常我不太想跟别人讲话，可是 there's something about 某人就是不知道怎么搞的，他就是有会让我这样有这种做这样的事，或或者有这样的感觉。所以 Hannah 她的 grinning expression， 她那个微笑的那个表情，就会让我干嘛呢？他会 prompts me， 会提这个督促我，或者是提醒我啊，要我干嘛叫 prompts me， 他会让我想要干嘛呢？要 strike up a conversation with her 啊，跟他讲话。我有个冲动。It's little wonder that she is one of the most popular students in the entire school. It's little wonder that 就是难怪 Furthermore, knowing her has even inspired me to wear a smile more often on my face, which has also increased my popularity. 啊，所以呢 ，inspired me 啊，就是 inspired me， 就是激励我干嘛呢 ？Wear a smile， 就脸上要带着微笑 ，more often 啊，更常带着微笑。那这个也 increase my popularity 啊，就让我也增加了我的受欢迎的程度，也就是让我更欢迎的意思，更受欢迎。Yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to add a cultural note. Not everybody will agree with this because in East Europe, they think people who are always smiling look kind of goofy and not very bright. 哦、oh, ，所以在东欧啊，有的人看他，你如果一直笑的话，他会觉得这个人怪怪的啊。Yeah, and they're also kind of silly and goofy. 啊，有一点看起来笨笨的啊，那种呆呆的，呆呆的哈、啊，所以要小心。这个要要看，还是要看文化。Yeah, that's right. It's a cultural thing, but in general, don't just smile at everybody everywhere. You know, watch out. You know, for people's、uh, reactions, but a smile usually can brighten up a person's day. That's it for today. We'll.